It's Ramsey here from One Stop Warehouse. Welcome to part two of four of the Sun Grow series videos about the RT Hybrid Inverter. I'm here in the company of no other than the senior service engineer and trainer from SunGrow, Graham. Hi, Graham. Hi, Ramsey. Good to be with you today, and thanks for letting us show you our new hybrid inverter. My pleasure. Great to have you here too. So today we'd like to walk through all the different connections from left to right uh, for this inverter to get it operational. So, Gra Graham, could you please walk us through it? Yes, simple. Our, connect, our inverter, you don't need to take any covers off the inverter to connect everything. It's all plug and play. We include everything you need in the box. So I'll just go through each one of them as it is appropriate to the inverter going left to right. So first of all, on the left, we have our PV inputs. And we do have in the bag uh, a bag full of genuine MC4 connectors. Please use them. And all you do is what you normally do is crimp them onto the DC cable and plug them in. Example of a crimped cable. Oh. Okay, Brilliant. So once done that, that's quite straightforward. It still us know how to do that. For the battery connection, because it's a high voltage battery, uh, the cables are smaller than it would be on a low voltage battery. And we include in the box uh, genuine SunClix connectors. Now these are very easy to connect. All you need to do is strip the cable, pass it in, and this and tighten it up, it'll crimp down on the cable nicely. So there's no crimping there, it's automatically crimped. And you get two of these. Brilliant. And that's all you need to do for the battery power yep. cables. Minimal work there. Minimal work, only takes a few seconds. Great. Uh, communication wise, uh, every inverter comes as standard with a Wi Fi dongle. You can also get, as an optional extra, you can buy a 4G dongle if you don't have a Wi Fi connection. And this, once again, just plugs into the bottom of the inverter. It has a QR code, and we use that for setting the system up on the iSolar Cloud. Nice and easy. And if you do plug in, uh, you can plug in a third party controlling equipment or software by the use of an Ethernet plug. There's an Ethernet socket in the bottom. Yep. And this is the little weatherproof shroud to make sure it's weatherproof. So you don't have to buy special IP rated. Uh, connectors for it, just use the standard connectors, put that shroud over. Brilliant. Now, every uh, inverter also comes with an energy meter. You do need to connect the energy meter uh, for the control system. This one here is a T65. You may also have a DTSU666. It's a very simple meter. It's an inline meter. You connect your three phase in neutral at the bottom, and you have your three phases coming out the top to all the loads. There's a little diagram on the side of it, and you also get an instruction manual in the box. To connect the RS-485, which is the communication, flip the lid up, and you can see RS-485A and B. It's a simple two-wire system. RS-485A is the positive, RS-485B is the negative, and that's how you do. Connect one end to the meter and the other end to the inverter. Cool. That is also very simple. We include this multi-plug for all the communication cables, uh, whether it be the RS-485 or the battery communication. Very easy. You have the IP rated shroud and the little connector. And the cables that come in the box are pre-terminated. They're also pre-labeled and marked, so you can't get it wrong. And all you do is plug these in like that. No screw terminals like that, and that clicks into place, tighten up and plug it in, yep. done, dead easy. Perfect. Last but not least, the AC connection. Now there is a grid connection and there's a backup connection and that's for your backup loads. If, in the, if you go off grid, it will supply out of the backup loads. The AC plugs are both colour coded as are the sockets on the inverter. There's a blue and a red one. This one is colour coded red, this is for the backup terminal. The other one has a blue label on it. Very easy once again to connect. Pass the cable through the gland and there's a nice big spacious terminal there for your three phases, neutral and earth. And you connect them up and plug in like that, ready to go. And it has a lock. So 
safety one, lock. Yep, safety lock. You put that on. Once you plug it in, you can't pull it out by accident. Right. And we also supply these, so you've got a nice, neat cable termination as well. And that's it. All we need to do now is plug it all in and switch it on. Well, there you have it, guys. As you can see, Sangro has made it extremely easy, user-friendly to connect this inverter using high-quality parts, very durable, waterproof for all terrains and scenarios and climates. So I hope this video was useful and stay tuned for part three where we'll show you the communications in further detail plus the commissioning. Thanks.